Welcome in guys to another special interview here with Phenom Hoops. Today I have 2021 Jarvis Moss from Canon who just announced that he would be committed to Stanford. So first of all, huge congrats Jarvis and welcome in. Jarvis, how's everything been going for you? Everything's pretty good. Um, you know, I'm excited with Stanford and the next few years there. Now, I like to always start off with the interview after the commitment there is, what was the reasons why Stanford was the place for you in the end? Um, you know, I really like what Stanford has at the program, not just basketball, but academics as well. Um, you know, Coach Cohen, Coach Hash, um, you know, they saw me who I truly am. Um, they see me as a shooter, somebody coming and scoring. It's making an impact, um, defending, and then just being a leader overall. And, um, you know, they see me fitting into their system, you know, how the offense works and all that. Now, I kind of want to scroll back to memory lane because I remember specifically we did an article with you and we were talking about your recruitment and everything like that. And you mentioned Stanford as they were showing interest your way. And not long mm-hmm. after that, they were they, you got the offer there. What was that moment like that when you got that offer from Stanford? I know you were, you were wanting that one and you finally got mm-hmm. it. What was that like for you? Um, I mean, I was just speechless. You know, I, I was on a Zoom call with my parents, um, my high school coach, and, you know, the Stanford staff. And I was just speechless. I didn't know what to say. Um, but, you know, it's truly a blessing to see, receive an offer from um, Stanford. Um, and it's just not something that, you know, the usual person usually says. Now, uh, I know you probably know all about Stanford and everything. I'm, I'm sure you've been doing your research and everything like that. But what was the relationship like with the staff like that with you? And who were you kind of talking to the most? And who was recruiting you the most there? Um, so Coach Cohen, which is the assistant coach, he was the first one that reached out to me. Um, you know, he gave me phone calls, and then eventually I started talking to the head coach, um, Coach Haas. And then just from there, we started building a relationship. Um, we got familiar with each other. He with my family. Um, we had plenty of Zoom calls. And then we were just strengthening our relationship. How long were they showing interest in you before they offered you? Like, how long have they been kind of on you t- uh, so far? Um, I think the first time they reached out was in October, and I think like a month and a half later they offered. Okay. So it, it's been a fast process kind of with you from when they first showed interest there. Um, was there when uh, did you kind of have a feeling that Stanford was always going to be the kind of the place for you when the, especially when that offer came on the board? Yes, sir. I thought so. Um, you know, I do exceptionally well in the classroom. Um, you know, as everybody knows, Stanford has a great academics. So, you know, I thought I would do well there. And then, you know, the basketball piece would take care of itself. But, you know, I thought I could fit, fit really well in their system. Now, I know you're a tremendous student. And like you said, Stanford, everybody knows about their academics here. I wanted to ask you kind of school-wise and just get your thoughts here. Do you have anything that you're planning on uh, you're going in for or anything that excites you about Stanford, that, you know, on the school-wise? Um, so I haven't really decided where I'm majoring again. I'm going to go in as undecided. But, um, you know, I'm going to take it one day at a time, figure myself out, um, and then just go through the basketball thing with everybody um, and just work from there. What's your excitement about playing in the Pac-12? I mean, uh, a Power Five kind of conference, playing against the teams like UCLA, all of them, you know, traveling mm-hmm. and everything like that. What's your excitement about uh, in the Pac-12 this, uh, coming up? It's going to be really fun. Um, you know, Pac-12, they have tremendous programs there. Um, you know, it's going to be very competitive. It's not going to be easy. So, you know, I'm going to have to worry for uh, my spot and just, you know, go out there and compete with my teammates. I wanted to give some people – we've seen you plenty of times, but, you know, maybe not a lot of people have seen you over on the West Coast there. So give a, tell people a little bit about your game, what, you, what they're hoping you can bring in, and just more of what you're hoping to develop as a player. Um, I'm hoping to develop – uh, just that, like, you know, I'm trying to show people that I'm, I'm three-level scorer. Um, not just shoot it. You know, I can put the ball on the floor. Um, I can pass, get my teammates open. Um, I'm good at attacking the rim. Yeah, I can shoot from anywhere, catch and shoot, one dribble, pull up. Um, just my overall confidence and being a leader on the court, you know, uh, that really stands out for me. And what about your game there? Talk a little bit about just uh, of what you, how your, your strengths are on the court there. Um, it's definitely shooting. Um, you know, I can really shoot it. Um, you know, when I'm hot. You know, it's, the rim looks pretty big for me. Um, and then just like, you know, like I said before, the confidence. Um, you know, I'm never down on myself. Um, you know, I always got to have confidence because without confidence, you know, I, can, I really can't do anything. So um, just confidence, being a leader uh, for my team, and just going out there competing. I just want to let those Stanford fans, this kid, he, when he says he can shoot it, he can shoot it. He has an understatement there. <laughs> but he's also athletic um, and also a three-level scorer. I, we've seen it multiple times all throughout the summer and everything like that. I just wanted to quickly before we let you go, um, everything like that, uh, just take a glance back of this summer here. How important was this summer for you during this time just to get on the court and just to play to, and also just to showcase that you're just not a, a shooter. You can do so many other things on the court. 
Um, it was really important. Um, you know, this summer I was able to prove myself that I'm not just a shooter. You know, I could I could um drive, attack, play make, and um, you know, with everything going on, I wasn't able to get in the gym a lot. So my aunt, my uncle, they blessed me with the weight room to put my garage. So I was able to work out, gain weight, and just overall just complete my complete my body. Now you're you've had a lot of success at Canon, uh, and everything like that. I mean, you've won states. You played with some high level of talent there. Like last year, Jaden Bradley's, and you know this year, DJ Nix, and so on and so on. There, you know, when you look at your time uh, uh, at Canon, there, what are some of the goal the things you're going to be looking back and you're just going to be, you know, you were you, the time that you had, as well as what are some of your goals now that you've kind of accomplished the state championship? Now you've committed, and now you got this year. What are some of your goals that you're going to be looking forward to as well? Um, you know, I'm going to look for it just the, I mean, for one, just competing. Um, number two, you know, win the conference um, and then look look for the uh, national championship. But other than that, though, you know, just probably like small goals, like, you know, holding records, uh, game records, stuff like that. I got you there. So, well, Jarvis, I will let you go. I know you got a busy time there. I know it's an exciting time for you as well. Um, but huge congrats from us at Phenom here for your commitment at Stanford. We were super happy for you, super proud of you. I know you put a lot of work into it to get to where you are today. Yes, sir. I really appreciate it. And I really appreciate you guys uh, covering me all through high school and all that. Hey, it, it won't stop. Trust me. We'll be tuning in. It might be a little bit later in the Pac-12, you know, watching you late night. But we'll we'll be tuning in for you for sure. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. Well, congrats to everything. And if you want to look at more interviews and listen to more interviews and check out even highlights from Jarvis there, go check it out all, all out at the Phenom Hoops YouTube page.